baby is okay, that's when you proceed with your procedure. So, even if you are not stopping, but you should be seen exposing the baby that you are checking, quickly you are making a quick head to top or top and tail assessment. Then from there, that's when you check your cord. If it's bleeding or not bleeding, if it's infected or not infected, then you leave the whole baby covered, but only expose, only expose the cord. You are preventing infections. And also a reminder, for GNC you find a window like this open and you don't do resuscitation or care of the baby with the window open. So if you do the procedure correctly but the window you left it open, you might go wrong. So before you leave in and uncover the baby, just say I'm not going to cover the window, I'm going to close the window to prevent my pain. Unless they say no, leave it open, it means it's just for their baby. But mostly they like where they do this side they must come you right. The conditions are good, so much they just leave it every okay to see the baby. So just close it, then expose the baby. Once you expose the baby like this, you can even put your marking brush. Just in case you'll be using a lot of money. Yes, but you still don't want to swallow the linen. And you always reach the baby like this and you put it on your pouch and you push it on your fingers. Which remember we said you can introduce your things at this point. So you can say smachito forcep is still potent because five minutes is very deep. So if you spend time in talking, talking, you won't do anything. The bell will ring while you're still talking. And there's no mark, enough marks for you just talking. But there's marks in practice. So just say it's still potent, unless they say how potent it is, just say it's still close, it doesn't surpass for I just say, my chicken concept is still potent, my drum is still potent, and my chlorine is not yet expired, and my normal saline is still potent, and my your spirit is expired in 2021. So first, first you talk about that. And from there, you get your, you have made this structure of such like this. You just take your um, your part and bring it on top. You also say the part is still sterile and potent for us. So up to that point, it means you are in the right track. Just this one, 
It means this part you can touch with hands, and the rest you use a chicken person. Of which the common one you will find this because of the economy. Only two instances you find there are two. You find there is only one. So from that point you open, you expose your chicken yourself and you label it the first one. And you label when you have opened it. So sometimes being first can cost you because you have to do a lot of things like what. And also being last is also costly because they yeah, reduce the time maybe to three minutes instead of five so that they know how fast. So you always lift the chicha person facing up, not about the head, not about the waist, but just from the So what I'm avoiding is for this to fall down, reaching down there because it will be stable and when it is hard. So you can also expose this side. And also this side. So you don't make a mistake, you reach this side, you put here, it means you're contaminated. You always be careful so that you don't reach this side. So for this side, for you to expose the other side, you don't have to go like this, it means you will cross. By the time you are coming back, you have crossed and you have contaminated. So if it's the space behind, you go behind and open it from the side. But if there is no space still from here, you go in the side, then you pick it up and you close it. So at this point now you, you use for us to always use more salad and The other option is that you can still get at this point now. My top shelf is ready, I'm ready to scrub in. But before I scrub in, if I'm confident enough, I can still leave my receiver there and I can still be throwing down there. Or I can still get my receiver and put it near so that when I click, I drop it in. But I also want to see the skill manual dexterity that we are able to do. Even in your shivering, you are able to throw some. So you can still leave it here, take it and put it near there. Why you are doing the 
So you still for you to do this um, stair up or scrub for you to scrub, you don't do all the steps, but you do the last step well. So last time we had the hand sanitizer. That's it. <coughs> circular motion until you reach the top. Then from there you walk from here to pick this one. Come here. Then you hold this one and pick the opposite one. Okay. And then circular motion. Then you walk from there to meet this. So this now has to go into that. <laughs> so you can you can do the like this. Come to the mm. So you can do it like this. So from that point now you are ready to scan. And these are always difficult to put in your hands are still wet. So make sure as you are drying, you dry now quickly away to your difficulties. So the small that can go in. So, 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 no. so, 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 of course, the dominant hand is this this So like this, you can move that as a Yeah, yeah. that Away from the sterile field. From at this point, you can still drop it even at this point. There's no problem. But once this moves away from here, this hand should never be seen to come back this side. Then you are finished. So the first part you clean is this part where there is that uh, you can be and you clean it like this. Then so then you get a gauze. This hand won't give this hand. This has become a cleaning hand, and this will be giving. This will be giving and supporting. So for this hand which has collected the gauze, will go straight here. It has not contaminated. So that's the, the technique. Mm -hmm. It is not it, but <laughs> it's that how you drop it. Eh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Not right. where you oh. even yeah. just oh. drop it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So it's drop, not pull. Time. Mm -hmm. Put is it, you get and put. Drop is it, you, you let go at some point. Okay. So now uh, this hand will still get the cause. So this should be meeting at the mid. This you should not make a mistake. This comes here, you give from here. It means you have contaminated. But they should meet here on the mid like that. And they, they should not touch. And not where you give these touches. Even if you are shivering, at least you can drop as many as you want if you are shivering. So that and you also make enough from there. So you get this one, drops, then this hand comes to support. It holds this, then you clean in a circular motion where the insertion point is. You clean, you cut. The actual umbilical cord is hard, it doesn't fall like this, so you won't have troubles. You clean once you throw, but your hand still is going under the vessel, not the way I throw. Yeah. So you can also you know, okay, don't put the receiver on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like the way he's standing because what you see this was supposed to be on the other side. So, so it's just in his hand. Never should you put the receiver on there. Yeah. No matter what time. Which can if you have to get out.
So remember, I've used the two. I'm remaining with the three. I need to exhaust all the five. So I get another one. I drop it. This hand comes here. Supports. I go a bit on the two and three. Then I let go. I drop. Then I pick another one. I support again. I go a bit on the top, and I get the last one. Support the green on top near where the pin is. Okay. Then you are done with it. Cut here. You can get this now, and this hand can now move. Uh, I was not mm. I was, I was, I was mm. 